Okay, it's about 6.20 p.m. I've introduced the new corals to the tank. And, of course, the leather isn't going to open, but the actinics are on. It's in place. I think I'm going to keep it there. Looking pretty cool. It's pinkish and green. Don't know if you can see that or not. But the frog spawn has actually opened up and I got about two good heads on it and it's opened up real nice flowing I think I got that in a good place and it's going to stay there as well rest of the inhabitants are about ready to bed down the clowns as usual hanging out in this corner look like they're getting into their PM mode the queen, wherever the heck she is, she's behind a rock somewhere. When she's ready to bed down, that's where she goes, and that's where she's going to stay. So, the uh, yellow-eyed coal with his little greedy butt, he's all over the tank as usual, scouring to see if there's any food left. But the queen, where are you, little girl? The queen is back. Oh, there she is. She's back there. And I think she's about ready to call it a night. And so are we. Another thing. The, uh, well, there he is. The, uh, feather duster. He's retracted into his shell. So he's probably done for the night. But he does make appearances all day long. So not sure about him. The um, star polyps, still doing good. Hey, there's my little grouch. Haven't seen that dude all day. The emerald crab, finally found him. Everything's doing good. So far, so good. Um, Testarossa 101. Oh, one other thing. I did find out that... Um, even though most things say to keep your salinity at 1.021 to 1.024 that most people keep their tanks at 1.025 as far as salinity is concerned also these are tropical fish and uh, I thought that they should be kept at 80 to 82 degrees but guess what also found out that they may need to be kept at 79 degrees which may be why I lost my skunk cleaner shrimp and the Sally Lightfoot crab. We'll see. I'm going to make those changes over time. You know, introduce it slowly. And see if I can actually get another skunk cleaner shrimp. Because Doc number two curled up his toes and died as well. So, we'll see how that goes. Testarossa 101. Signing out.